Right, we are outside the farm and uh, Peter's just setting up the mole plow here. Farmer's in the background, we're going to take over from him so he can uh, get on with something else. And um, we've got young Charlie with us again. You remember young Charlie, she did some work experience with us um, a few months ago. Uh, Peter's just showing her what to do and uh, how it goes. He's setting up the plow and he's uh, just adjusting it for the right depth. Now, when we get the plow back, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the plow and uh, explain what it does. Where we've uh, mole plowed last year, uh, we've seen that every field that we mole plowed was had an increase in yield and we've also seen that after it's been so wet it's actually dried up a hell of a lot quicker and we've been able to get on and get the jobs done that we need to do so uh, that's what we're doing it's a slow job you know we've got a little bit of good weather here the farmers cultivating young Andrew is then going to run the discs over top of this that'll level it out and get it turned over and brown that'll get things growing so we can get it sprayed off so me and Charlie are going to be mole plowing young Andrew's going to come across with his discs and he'll disc uh, behind the moles. We're just trying to get ahead of him a little bit so uh, he doesn't catch us up so quick. Here comes Farmer. So when it does rain, all the rain comes, runs along these channels into the drain and out into the gullies like it's supposed to. So Peter's just coming back. We'll have a look so you can see what's going on. You'll notice he's got his big weight on the front and as surprising as it looks, it doesn't look a big implement. But it does take a lot of pulling. And your problem isn't your power with your tractor, it's your traction with your wheel. So you can see it there. Now she comes. And if you have a look down in there, you can see that goes in quite deep. Let's just get through and do another one. That's what makes your big hole. It doesn't look like um, much to pull, but they do take a heck of a lot of pulling. Right, we're going to uh, take over from the farmer. Hang on. Oh yeah. Right. So no, the music has got to go. <laughs> yeah, not allow music on with YouTube, mate. They're, right. They what do you want to know, Matthew? Um, right. You just explain what we're doing, what the job is, and why we do it. Right. We're mold plowing. Yeah. To help get rid of the water, man. Because we're ninety percent clay. The biggest issue we got is getting rid of water. Yeah. And getting water to run through. We can do it with cultivations, Matt, but you know and I know if we can, anything we can aid will help the situation. Yeah. And we saw, so, we did a bit last year, didn't we? Yeah. So basically, what you're doing, this, this field is land drained across the field, and we pull the mould across the drains. So the idea is the shingle is to within nine inches of the top of the ground and the mole pulls through the shingle and just gets with all the surface water into the drain and the reason we're going with two moles is because the boy will be here in about three minutes with a set of discs and we're trying to stay in front of him yeah and what is the job of the discs afterwards right the, the discs are basically going to be the prime cultivation we're not going to do anything else to this I'm yeah. hoping we can disc it and that will be enough to allow us to drill get a seed bed and drill it right and is this going to go winter or spring this is going to go winter wheat yeah I've not sprayed the spring wheat off purely because we're trying to keep our powder dry with Roundup so we're not going twice with Roundup for no apparent reason yeah because basically in here there's no real black grass issues it came out of long-term grass yeah so the problem is only going to be volunteer wheat basically that yeah no great shakes with that um, 
the cultivations might even kill it. Yeah. You know, it might be a case of we don't really need to come back with brown duck. And, uh, so you, tur you turn all the soil over, and then if it greens up like crazy with weeds and stuff, then you spray it and then cut yeah. and then, and yeah, then you we, drill. Literally before we drill it. Yeah. Just before we go drilling, we would then come with some uh, glyphosate and do it that way. Yeah. If there was a lot of black grass out here, mate, I would probably then do it now. Yeah, do it, yeah, do it twice. Uh, you have to yeah. take every opportunity you can to get on top of that. Yeah. But because we came out of long-term grass here, it was five-year lay. Yeah. Uh, there's no great shakes of black grass out here. And where we saw where we mould last year, do we see any increase in yields or anything like that? Or was it just purely drainage was better so you could get on the field right. easier? Uh, there was a yield increase, but it is all to do with water filtration. And because it's so wet last year, that's why we would have seen such a marked increase, Matt. If, if you had a dry year, what we would class a dry year, you probably wouldn't see that increase like that. No. Um, you know, it just wouldn't happen. But because it was so wet with so much rain, that is why we saw that marked increase. And there, there would be an increase. And, you know, with, with the discs, the discs are not the best things on clay that, you know, if it was any wetter than this, we would probably be coming with a set of times yep. rather than discs. Right. But actually, I would have said this, looking at what we're molding is, pretty much ideal yeah and also I think it's drying up now for Andrew to do it with the disc yeah cool and hopefully with two cultivators running if you've got you know because we can have two or three cultivators around we've done some plowing uh, with the thought process we're going to put some spring beans in there yeah that plan could change as you know. <laughs> yeah well yeah you got to go with the what you've got in front then yeah yeah exactly that this is going to be winter wheat purely because we've got the seed in the shed yeah Last year's seed, germination is 92 or 93 percent. The vigor is good on it, so there's no issues of planting that. Yep. Um, it's a variety called Nelson, it's a million variety, German, uh, quite low input regarding fungicides. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, milling quality at the end of it. Yeah. Um, the idea with the second wheat is it won't yield quite so well, so we shouldn't have too many issues with the proteins. No. We would like to have got some muck on this. Yeah. And I've sort of changed tack on that a little bit because I do wonder if that's how we're spreading black grass around. Right, we're about to have a, uh, a mole plowing race. Let's see, who, uh, they're already going backwards. You see, this is where they've gone wrong. You cannot mole plow in reverse. No, it just doesn't work. No. Plus that new tractor, I, right, okay, I'm pulling some silage home and I pulled it with this one and that one, same trailer, same silage from same field. This one would get up to 40k faster than that one. Would you believe that? That's, that's a newer tractor. Yeah. Is, actually, is the engine different on this? Well, supposedly that tractor is the direct equivalent of this. But what I've learned since is Agco are not always truthful with their results of engine power. No. Which is not unusual. No. <laughs> they're, they're, they're both 160 horsepower tractors, aren't they? Yeah, the no, 80 uh, 150, but the 140 something, 147 or something like yeah. that. But I don't think that is... The, the engine is probably identical, man. Yeah. But that's got more emissions and garbage on it, which is the bane of everybody's lives, so... I know. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. That's probably where it zaps it, isn't it, through the emissions. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think the these just breathe easier, don't they? They just. But the job isn't really as long as you cover them drains. That's the job, isn't it? It doesn't really matter yeah. how straight it is, or the job is to Matthew, get over them. Yeah, straightness is everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you learn your straight line. <laughs> Obviously you well, want me. All you want to do is pick a drill line, because Pete will have the drill lines fairly straight. Keith, whoever drilled it, they're going to be pretty accurate. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't tend to look at the wheel. I'm, I just look down the centre of the tractor. Yeah, I've got yeah. And if you had GPS with your steering, it would just be easy. Oh, it? yeah. Eh? When my tractor comes, 
oh, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be so easy. We all, if I come out, I'll probably bring a sprayer tractor. <laughs> yeah, because you can, you oh, can wow. fill your tank up at the front as well. Oh, you can have no traction issues. To be fair, you don't need the weight on the front, do you? No, but you've got to bear in mind, we've had seven inches of rain in August, mate. Oh, right. If, if know, it was like last year, oh, yeah. be we, we've been mole plowing where, and you wouldn't get along at this speed. You you know, you'd be down at 4K. Yeah, I remember, you know. I remember it last year. It seemed like a slower job. Oh, yeah, it would be. It, it, this is a knife through butter, you know. It's, um, yeah, I got but it. But it is quite, it is quite nice underneath. I can see that it is, uh, it's doing, it will do a good job. Yeah, it will do a good job. Um, it's like, it's like, it, it's almost ideal on a separate mark. Yeah. Yeah, because it's going to mould a perfect hole. They, isn't it? they will last for three years, four years, probably treated properly. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's all to do with what traffic you put over the top of that, I'm sure. Yeah. And they're done. Last year, if they're done in dry, crumbly, you know, that, that's probably not going to last as long as doing it like this. Yeah. So you want the soil to be, in a way, as it is here, where it, it sort of moulds, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The farmer's gone. He's gone off now. He's going to go and do some cultivating out the back of the farm there. Me and Charlie are going to continue this side of the farm and get all these fields done. And we're beating her in a race, obviously. It's very easy. See, the old AT still got it. These new tractors. That's the, uh, the channel we're leaving behind us. Doesn't look like you're doing much, but um, when it comes to you know, if it comes wet, then you are doing some good. You uh, and it'll last a few years as well. So farmer already explained what what it's all about. He does a <laughs> does a brilliant job because uh, you know he knows it inside out. Whereas uh, I sort of know what we're doing, but it's alright. Young Charlie, we'll have a chat with young Charlie in a bit and see how she's getting on. What's he done? What have you done? Two minutes you've been on there. Just bust the link. Is there anything else? Yeah. What's well, happened there? Let is the link broke. Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it, yeah. All that was holding it though, Charlie. Yeah. It's the outside. The, the inside had rusted away. So it was going to break at some point. Yeah. Um, but it's lucky because usually you'd lose this underground. Yeah, I caught it. I started going and then I caught it about there. Yeah, do you know what? You're, it's so lucky that you caught this because usually if that chain breaks underground, you never see it again. Uh. And then you've got to get yourself a new mole. Which is a bigger problem. So you're lucky. You're actually really lucky there. Yeah. Uh, what we need to do is take that back and we will fix it. You fixed it? Yeah. Yeah. What did you do there? Wait. Yeah. One of the chains snapped off, didn't it? So what yeah. did he do? Did he punch this? Yeah, he took that out. Yeah. And then the zip snapped here. He took that off. Yeah. And then he. Um, Yeah. Oh, I see. So you just shorten that to make that fit a little bit nicer, yeah? Yeah. Oh, sweet. And uh, we were quite lucky we didn't lose the mole, weren't we? Yeah, really. Yeah. So uh, we just started a new field. Young Andrew's in the background. He'll be catching us up, so we can't muck about too much. It's uh, going alright, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is the tractor struggling at all? No, it's not. I noticed I overtook you a couple of times. Yeah, no, yours is set faster. Oh, is it? Set yeah. Faster. Uh, yeah. We were having a race, but you didn't know about it, but I won. So. Oh, if I didn't know about it, you uh, I won. I won. Oh, no. Oh, no. What now? No, no, it's um, he had to have it back on. So he took the, he took the end yeah. off of that, but he had to put it back on. Yeah, that's right. It's just, um, so we use this, right? We will use this. He's got a special end. That clips on there and it will pull a blue water pipe. So oh, if okay. you're ever laying water pipe underground, yeah. we just connect it onto the back of there, we'll have a reel that's end and we'll use the tractor to pull it under the ground then. And then you've got a nice water line under the ground out the way. Cool? So that's what that's what that is there. Yeah. 
all right? Yeah. Sweet. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be home. disappears and uh, <laughs> it all changes if you look away for one split second that, that mark can disappear now the trick with mole plowing is no big movements with the steering wheel very fine adjustments if you need to make any otherwise you do see it quite clearly behind you I haven't even looked away yet. This is going to be pinpoint accuracy, I can see, I can tell. Young Charlie will be laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm no expert at this, I can tell you that. I am still in the very, very beginnings of learning how to do it. But uh, with the GPS tractors, they make a brilliant job of it. It looks fantastic, but this is the old way, learning how to do it the old way. And everybody should learn this way first. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Can't actually see it. Oh, it's not too bad. I don't want to blow my own trumpet here, but uh, there's a slight curve on it. As it goes over the brow, it curves back. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. By the end of, you know, 10 years, I might have <laughs> cracked it. We've got about another hour left. Uh, whether we'll get this finished, I don't know. But uh, we're not staying late tonight. Uh, young Charlie's got school tomorrow. So, that's unlucky for her. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go home for a nice roast dinner with the kids and the family it's been a long few weeks so and uh, things are starting to slow up we've got different weather coming in from middle of next week and um, you know we've been flat out we haven't stopped for the last three or four weeks we literally have not stopped which has been good we managed to catch up and uh, you know takes all the doom and gloom away from it when you've got all your preparations ready for the next drilling season which won't be far away two weeks we'll be drilling winter crops hopefully if we uh if the ground stays nice and stuff like that i've got a new camera to test i went and brought the new gopro you guys paid for it thank you very much 
I always said any money made from YouTube will go back towards either camera gear or um, or computer gear that pays to make these videos. None of it will be spent on myself, none of it will be spent on anything other than you guys getting to watch something cool. So that's where it's gone. Uh, let's see if anybody notices a difference. Hopefully it's a bit more reliable than this GoPro because this one turns itself off every two seconds. So hopefully it's better than that. Uh, we're gonna finish that there. Uh, it's been nice having young Charlie here for a couple of days. You'll probably see her again, I hope doubt. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. And um, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.